Some of the best lawns are made in the fall. Today we're going to be talking about fall fertilizer. What's going on everybody? This is Chaz with Homegrown How To. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, thanks for stopping by. In this video, we're going to be talking about fall fertilization or winterizing your lawn. A fall fertilization or winterization is easily the most important application anyone can do throughout the year. So what you put on your lawn is key and you wanna make sure you get it right. So in this video, that's what we're gonna talk about. The goal of fall fertilization is to allow the lawn to store as much carbohydrate in its root system as it can so that it can stay strong, survive those harsh winter months, and green up really fast come spring. So it only makes sense to apply anything to your lawn while it is actively growing. That way it can absorb the nutrients, store that throughout the winter, and reap the benefits come spring. So applying while the ground is still green, not frozen, not dormant, and actively growing is key. And you'll want to do this with a fast release nitrogen source. Now not all fall fertilizers or winterizers for that matter are created equal. If you go to a big box store, walk down the aisle, you will, you could potentially be overwhelmed with all the different winterizers that are on the shelf. Some of them are great, some of them are not so great. Now you want to avoid any slow release nitrogen source any nitrogen coated urea or water insoluble nitrogen. You wanna steer clear of those. I know a lot of people love malorganite. I've also used it myself, but it is something you do not want to add to the lawn in the fall because that is a slow release source. Any sort of organic fertilizer is going to be slow release, such as the malorganite. Type of nitrogen source you do want to look for as i stated earlier is a fast release nitrogen now fast release nitrogens are ammonium sulfate ammonium nitrate and urea these three are all water soluble meaning they dissolve fast with water application so you want to make sure you water that lawn probably within about a day after you apply that fertilizer to the lawn just so that it can dissolve get those nutrients down into the soil and prevent burning the lawn here is the urea fertilizer i'm going to be using it's a 50 pound bag covers 23,000 square feet. So I'm gonna be putting 2.1 pounds of this on per thousand. And what I'm actually doing here is I am measuring out the weight of the fertilizer that I need to apply to my lawn. My lawn is just under 5,000 square feet. So at 2.1 pounds of this product per thousand, I'm gonna do about 10 pounds. And with any type of fertilizer that you do buy, you wanna make sure you're reading the label on the bag. The label on the bag will tell you exactly what the nitrogen source is and exactly what is in the bag of fertilizer. It will also tell you application rates. Typically it has about a pound of the product per thousand square feet. Knowing how much square footage your lawn is is a must when adding anything to your lawn, especially a high nitrogen fertilizer because if you over apply, it's going to burn the crap out of your lawn. If you under apply, well, you're probably just not gonna get the same results that you should. Now you do not wanna apply any sort of fertilizer to a dormant lawn or a lawn that is starting to enter dormancy because nitrogen is very mobile in the soil. It can cause leaching very easily. You want to make sure that that nitrogen is completely uptaken by the soil and by the plant. So again, apply a fast release nitrogen source to a lawn that is still green, still growing. couple rules of thumb, you can do an application about two to three weeks before Thanksgiving, as well as what your local temps are. The closer you're getting to freezing, the closer you're getting to that lawn to stop growing, as well as the lawn to begin to enter dormancy. Another rule of thumb, once you get your first frost or two, you're probably looking about two to three weeks before that lawn begins to stop growing. So now is a perfect time to go ahead and get your fast release nitrogen source on your lawn so that the lawn can uptake those nutrients, store those nutrients in the root system, and allow for a quicker green up come next spring. Now, if you found any of the information on this video helpful, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have any questions, drop those in the comment section below. Happy hibernating.